Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> so today I was having a conversation with one of my good professors, one of the best professors I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, I loved it so much that, like, I love this class so fucking much that I literally asked him, Hey man, where do you work out? I'm trying to work out with you. Like, I, I bought the gym membership. He goes to some rich fancy gym. I bought the rich fancy gym membership just so I could talk to him. And he's one of those people, man, who like, really challenges your beliefs. Like, pushes you. He's real. He understands where you're coming from. Like, when you talk to him, he has, a, he has that sparkle in his eye. You know, he's like the... He's a person who's not just... He's living, you know? He's not just listening to what you're saying he's understanding what you're saying we had a phenomenal conversation today about like foreclosing your life hey what's up guys just had an amazing conversation with someone that i haven't seen in a long time used to be one of my professors well-known psychiatrist real practice like he does a lot of sports psychology and uh we just happen to go to the same gym now and we got we got to talking this morning at like around 6 30 in the morning and we're talking and Something he said, I just really got to share with you guys, and it was about foreclosing your life. So I've kind of gotten to that age, that age range where it's like, I don't know, anywhere from 18 to 30 to 35, I don't really know where it is, but it's kind of the idea of like, I, I have a lot of friends or people that I know that are starting to settle, you know, like, oh, let's just be realistic. Jolt, I can't go do that. I have to work off. I have to work right now. I have to live this life. I have to do what my parents want me to do. I gotta do this, that, and the other. And we're just talking about it. We're like, oh, really? I'm at that age where all of my friends are rather going for their life, going for their dream, living their what they want to do, or giving up. And I just gotta urge you to everyone out there that this isn't the choice, man. So we got to talking and one of the big things that got brought up was The Fountainhead, a book by Ayn Rand. I love that book. I just finished it recently and it's like a thousand pages so it was like a huge venture and we were talking and he, it just happened to be that his ass, by the way, he's like 60, mind you. He's like, he's like a mentor, someone I really look up to, that kind of thing. And he was, he was saying he had finished that book right around my age. I just turned 21. He said he had finished it right when he had turned 21. And the book stands for individualism, like what man can really create. Um, just, just the idea, like pretty much the woman writes a book about what the perfect man is, the man with the best integrity, the man who goes for what he wants in life, uh, speaks to women the way a man really should carry himself, like with no, no burdens upon himself, like really going for it, right? And we got to talking and uh, I told him, yeah, man, I'm preparing for law school, blah, blah, blah. And what's really interesting is he asked me, he kind of, he knows me pretty well, I've been in his class. He looks at me and he's like, Joel, do you really want to go to law school? Like, do you really want to be a lawyer? Is that really what you want to do in life? And like, I was like, definitely, definitely that's what I want to do. And it's kind of, he kind of looked at me and he's like, because I don't know, I don't know a lot of lawyers and like, I just don't feel like that's your kind of scene. It's way too uh, backstabby, a lot more like blah, 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 right? I just kind of like listened to what he said and I was like, just cause like, just so a side note, I want to go to law school, I want to become a lawyer, I want to do this, but that's not to say that for the rest of my life I'm going to be a lawyer. What? What? I, I'm not, this isn't this grand scheme of like, oh I can't wait to do this to then become uh, the best lawyer, blah blah blah, right? Maybe that is, maybe, I don't know. I don't plan eight months in advance, that is my mantra, I feel like Every eight months, I've changed drama dramatically in my life, and why would I ever plan eight months past that? And so I was, I was talking to him, and I was like, yeah, man, of course I want to be a lawyer. That's definitely what I want to be. But I'm getting to that age where all of my friends around me, that maybe those who wanted to be, um, God, I really don't want to call out my good friends, but I'm going to call them out anyways. People who want to be firefighters, people who want to, like, go travel the world, people who want to... Uh, date a 10 and they're dating someone who they don't want to date or they're like restricted because they they're doing this and they want to do that and like uh, I'm dating this girl but I really want to go live that life Joth and like I see you doing it and I'm like man why am I doing that instead or I just I just got this animal and I can't I take care of it so I can't live that life or they're making excuses because this is a major priority maybe I, if I don't do maybe I gotta do this first and then I can go do that and have a happy time be living my life maybe 
I gotta pay my debt in life. Sorry I'm calling you up. I know who you are. <laughs> Sorry, brother. But I have to like pay off my debt first and then I can go travel the world. No! No! Man, I might be dead tomorrow. And here's another thing. This is, this, is one of the bi this is one of the big examples I always bring up to any friend that I have whenever they talk to me about like life problems, whatever, right? I always give them the number 300. 300 years. Think about it. 300 years from now, you'll be dead. 300, I mean, unless medicine, blah, 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 right? So exempt that. So 300 years from now, you're going to be dead. 300 years from now, none of your kin will probably know your name. Unless you have some weird historian ass kid who's like trying to memorize their entire ancestry, they're probably not gonna know your name. And get this, okay, let's take the example of Bill Gates, fucking richest man in the world at one point. He was, I don't, he's obviously not the richest man right now, but he was the richest man in the world. He's helped millions of people. He's spread the words, right? 300 years from now, will he be known? Take it even a step further. A thousand years from now, will he be known? Sure, maybe. Maybe he's known by well-read historians. Maybe he's in history books for every person to learn. However, think about this. A thousand years ago, right? You're talking about a single person. Maybe he'll have two sentences, maybe three max, in any history book about who he was. Richest guy in the world, helped a lot of people. That's what you're going to be summed down to. And I don't tell you that to make you sad. I tell you that to impress you. Like, isn't that so interesting? Isn't that so cool? Put that into perspective. Your life is like, the, the way you live your life will be recorded or it won't be. And even if it is recorded, it won't matter because you won't be there to see it. There's no gratification by saying, oh, look at me, I'm so cool. I had the most amount of money, blah, blah, blah. Not to say that's a bad thing, but live your life the way you want to live it right now. Think about how many people live their life according to what their parents want. Oh, my parents wanted me to be a doctor, I'm going to be a doctor. Oh, my parents told me I couldn't live uh, on my own, so I'm not living on my own. And like, a lot of people be like, well, Joe, they can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. Is it unrealistic? Is it impossible? Is it really? If you put every ounce of effort into it, could you make it happen? Yeah, I think you could. I think... Any person can do anything if they put in the amount, the amount of effort. I remember, like, maybe when I was like 16, 17, I was a lot more like goal driven. Like, not to say I'm not goal driven now, but more like, like I have to be goal driven. I hard work only, you know, only hard work works. You know, not to say like life can be easy. Life can come to me instead. That's the shift. But what I used to believe as a kid was that the harder I work. Like, if I just keep working, say I'm trying to get into law school, and I'm a complete dumbass, right? And I take the LSAT, and the, by the way, the LSAT's the law school entrance exam, and the lowest score is a 120, yeah, 120. And say I get a 120, right? If I kept taking the LSAT, and I really put my effort into it, I bet you, I bet anything that I could get into law school eventually. It's, if you don't quit, you'll get it, right? You'll just get it. It's, it's not like life is like trying to punish you for going for what you love in life. Life's kind of like water, you know? If you know where you want to go, things kind of just move out of your way. Life's not trying to beat your ass up for no reason. It might be trying to show you something, it might be trying to explain something to you, but life usually happens for you. And I say that being someone who's lived through tragedy. Someone who's had someone significant in their life pass away at a very young age and I was, I was I was broken you know and it's not to say that that is a tragedy I mean of course it's a tra I mean death is a tragedy in most cases but that that's kind of my energy man it's like he, that person passed away super young this person behind me passed away at the age of 20 Seven or something like that? I forget. But it's like, there's a lot of people who died before me, who died a lot younger than I have. There's people who have less limbs than I do. There's people who have less fortune than I do. Why would I not take everything I got and live it? 
Why would you ever settle? Why would you ever live a life that you don't want? Why would you ever date a girl you don't want to date? Why would you ever go for a job that you hate? Why would you ever do anything you don't want to do? Fuck, if all you want to do is play video games and jack off all day, all for it. I'm all for it. However, I would ask you after that, is that really what you want? Or are you afraid that if you go out of your comfort zone, and if you go start living your life, that you might fail? But think about this, you might also succeed. Going back to the never quit option, you probably will succeed. I don't know, man. Just something, something about it. Something about that just really resonates with me. <sighs> Push yourself, man. Push yourself. Live your life. I would hate to say that I'm the same person I am right now in a year from now. And I also would like to point out that right now is the best day of my life, right? Because I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. I'm not guaranteed a week from now. If I get to a week from now, I'll be juiced. If I get to a year from now, I'll be ecstatic, right? But... A lot of people, like, I'd say, like, over 95% of people put more faith in what they don't have than what they do have, you know? Oh, in a, in a couple months, I'll be so happy because uh, I'll have, uh, I'll be doing this instead of that. You know, a year from now, you're probably going to look back to this day and be like, man, those were the golden days. Man, 10 years from now... You'd probably look back and be like, man, when I was younger, those were the golden days. But right now you're sulking. So live it up. Live it up, baby. Do what you want. Live crazy. Um, you only have one life. And that's not to say go out, sleep with a bunch of women, and then do a bunch of drugs. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. You know, live it up. Live your life. Because you can do amazing things. Just put your heart to it, man. Say it with your chest. Peace.